Welcome back to virtual story time. And this is it, you guys. It is the last week, week eight, and we are talking about nocturnal animals. Of which one of my favorite animals is part of that gang. Yeah, Miss Cammie loves raccoons. I do. And they like to come out at night. So we're going to read all about animals that come out at night and do a really fun puppet show. So we will see you after that. Bye. Bye. I am going to read you a book called Secret Pizza Party, and it has my favorite animal, the raccoon, in it. Poor raccoon. All he wants in life is some pizza. I can relate, raccoon. If only he knew how to ask politely. Uh-oh. Scaring him away with a broom. Ah, pizza, so beautiful. You could hang it on the wall of a museum. So convenient. You could eat it in the bathtub. It's true. Of course, the best part about pizza is the gooey cheesiness, salty pepperoniness, sweet, sweet tomatoness, and crispy, crunchy crust. Yum. Sorry, raccoon. I didn't mean to rub it in. Hey, cheer up. I just had a great idea. Let's throw a pizza party at your house tonight. Shh. Don't tell anyone. This will be a secret pizza party. Don't tell anybody. I know what you're thinking. Why would we keep such a delicious, delicious party a secret? Okay, sure. And so folks don't show up and bonk you with brooms, but that's not the only reason. When you make something secret, you make it special. Regular handshake, boring. Secret handshake, boo yeah. Regular staircase, tiring. Secret staircase, terrific. Regular pizza party, get that raccoon off the table. Secret pizza party. Get that raccoon a slice of pizza. He's the guest of honor. Sounds like a way better party. Hot diggity dog. Our pizza party is going to be so much fun. Call the pizza man and tell him to bring over his absolute finest pizza pie. Hang on a minute. You don't want the delivery guy to know where you live. He might recognize you from the posters and chase you off with a broom. Think raccoon, oh my gosh, how are they gonna pull this off? <gasps> Sneaky. Okay, play it cool. You're just an honest pizza buying citizen who left his wallet in the car. The pizza man thinks she'll be right back. Let's go. I've planned the perfect getaway route. Around the broom factory, over the broom enthusiast club, Past the raccoon sniffing broom bots. Wait a second, raccoon sniffing broom bots. Uh oh, raccoon might be in trouble. Here they come. Run, raccoon, run like the wind. Do you think he'll escape? Whew, we made it. Let's barricade the doors and pop open that pizza box. Mmm, secret pizza party. Oops, I said that kind of loud. Sorry, pizza smell gives me the happy screams. Try not to crunch too loud. Definitely no high-fiving or music or dancing. Just to be safe, turn off the lights and whisper, secret pizza party. What's the matter? Sweet, sassy molassy, look at all that pizza. Clearly, these people are much better at throwing parties than they are at keeping secrets. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? That's a really big pizza party. Okay, you're in. Just play it cool. No one suspects a thing. He's trying to pretend like he's wearing a mask. Oh my goodness, he's running through all the pizza! Uh-oh. Do you think they're on to him? Secret pizza!
pizza party. The secret is out. The end. And I'm gonna read you a story called While the World is Sleeping. And there's all kinds of animals that come out when you're asleep. Come little sleepyhead, come with me. I've left my hole high in the tree. Oh, what wondrous things we'll see while the world is sleeping. This looks like a big owl. What does an owl say? They go, whoo, whoo. Climb aboard and hold on tight as I spread my wings in flight. We will journey through the night while the world is sleeping. Oh my goodness, looks like a big owl. We're gonna ride the owl. Over rooftops we will sail, above the hills, across the vale, up toward the moon so pale, while the world is sleeping. In the meadow, far below, see father stag and mother doe, tiny fawns spring to and fro, while the world is sleeping. Silver fish are swimming past, in the river running fast. Will they reach the sea at last, while the world is sleeping? A bright-eyed fox is on the prowl. He hopes to take a juicy fowl, until he hears the guard dog growl, while the world is sleeping. See baby rabbits as they play round and round the bales of hay. They'll have fun till light of day while the world is sleeping. A beaver couple, couple for a gleam work together as a team as they start their dam upstream while the world is sleeping. They're hard at work. In the woods, a porcupine rattles quills to send a sign. Don't come near, this food is mine, while the world is sleeping. A wise mouse mother squeaks alarm and tries to keep her babies calm. No slithering snake must do them harm while the world is sleeping. What do you think that snake sounds like? They go but it looks like they're nice and safe. A sleek raccoon with bandit eyes takes his nightly exercise. In garbage cans, he'll find his prize while the world is sleeping. A lean, long-tailed, and slinking rat keeps an eye out for the cat. A bat glides like an acrobat while the world is sleeping. But now it's time to rest your head, safely tucked up in your bed, as over earth the shadows spread while the world is sleeping. For soon the rooster's song will warn, dark is done, it's almost dawn. The day is waiting to be born. The world has finished sleeping. The end. Bat needed a new home. I lost my home. Can I stay with you? said Bat. Sorry, we already have too many bats, the old bat said. I lost my home. Can I live here? said Bat. Yes, but I might eat you, said the fox. No, thank you, said Bat. I lost my home. Can I share yours? asked Bat. No way. Bats are stinky. Please go away, said the skunk. Bat searched high, Bat searched low, and Bat searched everywhere in between. Then he spotted something. A clump of leaves and sticks had a small opening with a cozy home inside. Bat could even hang from one of the twigs at bedtime. Perfect, thought Bat. Bat gathered bugs for a snack later. Then he hopped up on a twig and fell fast asleep. Squirrel was dreaming of nuts, delicious nuts, crunchy nuts, snoring nuts. 
When Squirrel woke up, she was startled to discover a bat sleeping upside down. Excuse me, this is my home, Squirrel said to Bat. Squirrel shook Bat. I'm going to hide acorns. Please leave before I get back. But Squirrel had a feeling that Bat wasn't listening. To be on the safe side, Squirrel left a note. At dusk, Bat woke up and found the note. Dear Bat, bug off. Sincerely, Squirrel. Oh, Squirrel doesn't like bugs on her bed, thought Bat. He piled the bugs in a corner, wrote Squirrel a polite reply, and then took off for bug hunting. Sorry about the bugs. See you later, Bat. Squirrel came home a little while later, ready for a good night's sleep. See you later, she thought. We'll see about that. Before climbing into bed, she hung a new note outside near the opening. Dear Bat, that's not welcome. Sincerely, Squirrel. Hunting mosquitoes, hoppers, and stink bugs all night made Bat tired. He couldn't wait to curl up on his twig. When he got back to Squirrel's house, he saw the note. But the not part of the note had been covered up by a colorful moth. What a nice friend, thought Bat. He wrote back to Squirrel. Hi, thanks for the warm welcome. Love, Bat. Again, said Squirrel when Bat's snoring woke her up. Before she left for another busy day, she wrote her most forceful note yet. Dear Bat, leave my house. Sincerely, Squirrel. Bat woke up. He stretched. Squirrel's latest note was hard to miss. Bat smiled when he read it. Okay, he thought. In the moonlight, Bat added more leaves to Squirrel's house. It nearly doubled in size. Bat was exhausted after the long night of carrying so many leaves to the house. Before he fell asleep, he wrote to Squirrel. I leaved your house. Hope you like it. Love, Bat. Huh? thought Squirrel when she read the new note. This bat is batty. Before she left the snoring bat to find nuts, Squirrel thought she would write one very last note. Outside, she noticed all the new leaves. That's pretty nice, thought Squirrel. Bat woke up at sunset. He didn't see Squirrel in her bed, but he did see the note she left. Dear Bat, scram, adios, goodbye. Skiram, adios, goodbye, Red Bat. I wonder why Squirrel left. Bat flew off to find bugs. Meanwhile, Squirrel sat on a stump. She was sure her last note made Bat leave. She started to miss him. He did fix up my house, she thought, and he writes such nice notes. While catching bugs, Bat thought how lonely it would be without Squirrel. He started to miss Squirrel. Bat flew back just as Squirrel came home late. You didn't leave, Squirrel shouted happily. You didn't either, shouted Bat. Want to come inside? I'll teach you my favorite game, said Squirrel. Sure, said Bat. Bat and Squirrel played tic-tac-toe until sunrise. <sighs> that was fun. I'm sleepy, Bat yawned as he hopped up on his stick. Good night, Bat, said Squirrel. Good morning, Squirrel, said Bat. See you later, said Squirrel. But Squirrel had a feeling that Bat wasn't listening. So Squirrel left one very, very last note. Dear Bat, welcome to our house. See you later, your friend, Squirrel. The end. Welcome back. I hope you like those stories about fun nighttime animals in that cool puppet show. Yes, and we have a fun craft for you this week. In the envelope for week eight in your summer reading kit, you will find everything you need to make this very cool moonlit bat craft. And if you didn't manage to pick up a kit, the instructions and a template are available online. All you would need would be um, a piece of chalk or a white crayon and some black paper and the template online and you can make your very own nighttime bat craft. 
And also, since this is the last week of summer reading, make sure that you have filled out those zoo passports. If you didn't get one, you can print one off the internet and stamp it off for every week that you participated with us, whether that was watching story time, watching our videos, doing the craft, uh, reading a book on your own, doing your own activity, all of it counts. Mark it off and then bring your passport into the library by August 19th. And on August 20th, we will do a drawing for one of two grand prizes that you have a chance to win. If you don't wanna come into the library, you can also submit a picture of it online and we will put a link in the video for you to do that. So thank you so much for playing along with us. We hope that you had a really fun summer and enjoyed our trip through the zoo, learning about all kinds of animals. We had a really good time and I hope that you did too. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.